Today I'm going to talk about a great little program called Faststone. Uh, you get it for free at faststone.org. It's only available for PC, uh, but it's a great organizing tool. Uh, it reads RAWs just like it does JPEGs. It uh, has a lot of great built-in features. Here you can see it's looking at my 40D RAW files just like they were regular JPEGs. Uh, you can adjust the screen any way you want. You need to see more thumbnails or more of your uh, files here. Real easy to adjust. It's also got a great little built-in tagging feature. Uh, you can either use your slash key uh, or hit the little uh, box in the in the bottom corner there, the thumbnails. Uh, that way you can pick out which ones you want to keep or even which ones you want to delete. So. Uh, I've already converted these using a different program, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up the JPEGs here. And it um, has a couple nice features uh, as far as batch goes. Uh, Control A selects them all. And I hit uh, Convert Selected Images. You can see them there on the left. You can adjust the compression of your JPEGs. For web, I like to use around 60. Uh, it's got advanced features here. This is where the resizing and everything comes in. Um, just check on resize images. You can use the long side as 600, which is one, which is the way I like to do it. Uh, you can even do borders. It's got several different border options there. Uh, makes a nice look. You can even do watermarks. If you have your own image, you can just select it here. Uh, or if you want just to add text to it, you can add your own watermark there. You can adjust where it's going to be on the image. Um, you know, the opacity, uh, doing the drop down here, you can put it right in the center, uh, bottom left, bottom right. I'm going to type over here and just put proof on this right in the center, change the font that I'm using. i got to find Arial here. But you can use any Windows font, um, so it makes it real nice if you like it a certain way. There you go. So we get proof here, and um, I can select the folder that I want to put the f converted images in. I'm going to create a new one here called uh, Watermarked Web. Select that folder and just hit OK. Hit Start, and it'll actually go through, and it gives you an estimated time. Uh, it's running a little slow since I'm recording this, so um, I think there's about 30 some odd pictures, it's going to take about three minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel it here in just a second, but you can see the compression ratio, how big of files you're making, um, how much progress is going on, everything. This is how we do all of our web sizing. Faststone is probably the best for doing this. Go ahead and cancel that out. Another great tool for all you JPEG shooters is the auto rotate. It'll rotate based on the orientation tag uh, that your camera puts in there. One thing Windows does not do, these are already rotated, but it's a lossless rotate, so you don't lose any detail uh, because of JPEG compression issues, uh, which is something Windows rotation does not do. What I'm pulling up now is the Contact Sheet Builder. What this can do, if you're wanting to make proof books or just have contact sheets of all your images, so it's easy to sort through. Uh, this will automatically build you pages and you can set the size of the page as well as how many thumbnails are on there. We use this for when we make our proof books through MPEX. So it's building the sheets here and then you'll be able to see your preview. Zoom out so you can see the whole thing. Now I have it set for 12 on a page. And it puts a nice little border around them, puts the file name and everything under there. And you can adjust all of this where you want it to save and everything. So. Another real useful feature for presentations, uh, it has a built-in slideshow. Pull this up here. You can do it with music, adjust the timing, everything. It's full screen, nice faded in, faded out. You can uh, click on it to pause or press the space bar. So just hit escape to do that, to get out of there. Double click on it to get a full screen mode. Uh, one thing that's nice is all four 
edges of your screen have different tools. The top here is the navigator, so you can see the thumbnails again. Click on a different one there. You can click on the image and it'll zoom in to 100%. On the left here, you got different options like your crop tool, adjust the colors, uh, lots of your different tools, histograms. Over on the right, you can see your EXIF data uh, to see exactly how you shot that. And down toward the bottom here, uh, you have some more navigation tools. My screen may be cutting that off a little bit. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, the other nice thing is the comparison. Uh, actually, I need to select a couple of these here. Uh, but if you want to see side by side uh, which image you like better, I'm selecting four of them. I'm going to hit Tools, Compare. I'll actually pull those images up. You see here it pulls all four up, shows me my histograms. Uh, up in the top right corner there you can turn that on and off. If you want to adjust them individually, you can delete it permanently if you want, if you find it's not sharp. And you can also select each one, overlay, things like that, zoom them all in and out. And if you want to adjust them individually, you just press the shift key. Turn off my histograms here. I'm holding my shift key while I'm clicking and moving the mouse so I can line things up exactly right. Zoom in on just this bottom one. You see it did move the top one a little bit. Uh, I hit the, the edge there, so... There we go. I can move that and see which one I like the eyes better on. It's a nice little tool when you're showing a client uh, the images. It does have a built-in card downloader. Uh, if you wanted to pull your cards, you just select which card you want to pull it from, where you want to put it, if you want to rename them, um, if you want to delete it or keep the, the ones on the card. Anyway, this is a great little program. You'll find lots and lots of uses for it. Uh, it's free for personal use. Commercial use does require a license. Uh, it's not expensive at all. Um, and you can download it at faststone.org. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.